Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How is nuclear fission controlled in a nuclear power plant? Power plants are marvels of modern engineering. They convert different energy forms into electricity. Nuclear plants use fission to generate power. This process involves splitting atomic nuclei. But how do they keep it under control? It starts with uranium or plutonium fuel. These materials have large, unstable nuclei. When struck by a neutron, they split apart. This releases a huge amount of energy, but it also releases more neutrons. These can hit other nuclei, causing a chain reaction. To control this reaction, plants use control rods. These rods are made of materials that absorb neutrons. They're inserted between the fuel rods. When fully inserted, they absorb more neutrons. This slows or stops the chain reaction. When partially inserted, they allow the reaction to continue at a steady pace. The position of these rods is meticulously managed. Operators constantly monitor the reactor's activity. They adjust the rods to maintain a stable output of energy. This is crucial for safety and efficiency. Coolant plays a vital role too. It absorbs the heat from the fission reaction. It then transfers this heat away from the reactor core. This heat is used to produce steam. The steam drives turbines, which generate electricity. Safety systems are in place to prevent overheating. If the reactor gets too hot, it can lead to a meltdown. That's why multiple backup cooling systems are always on standby. In summary, control rods and coolant systems are critical. They ensure nuclear fission is a safe, reliable source of power. Nuclear power plants are complex, but with these systems, they harness the atom's power responsibly. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.